The latest Twitter war includes Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and former NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton. The two face off regarding New York City's homeless crisis. Yeah, a tweet put out by the former police commissioner stated, you know why New York's recovery isn't happening? This photo today on the E-Train at 6.45 a.m. at 42nd and 8th says it all. Why should working people and tourists be subjected to this? How's it fair to those who need services? Imagine the cops' frustration with no support to deal with it. And AOC was quick to snap back, tweeting her response, quote, of course they're frustrated. It's not policing's job or purpose to address housing, provide health care or counseling or solve the reasons people sleep on the subway. Maybe if we shifted some of that $11 billion a year spent on robo dogs to housing services, we could get somewhere. Joining us now to discuss this is former New York Congressman Peter King and Democratic strategist Bill Caruso. Uh, you know, I, I want to just I want to start by getting your reaction, but then I'd actually like to have a substantive conversation about homelessness, because especially in D.C., where Logan and I are based, you have people ripping down tent cities. And the question is, where do they go from there, especially if there are not enough shelters or shelters that have been shut down? It's a problem. But I want to start by getting, um, you know, Congressman, your reaction to sort of this little Twitter dispute. First of all, Bill Bratton is one of the most respected law enforcement people in the country. He's worked in so many different cities around the country. He's done an excellent job everywhere. What he was trying to point out there was that that is now a major crime issue on the subways. The homeless people there, they take over some of the subway cars. It has such a, a, a tremendous increase in crime. Now, one way the police can uh, stop that if they were allowed to would be to stop the toll jumpers, you know, the fare jumpers, the people that uh, go in without paying. That that is what what's added to some of the homelessness on the subways. As far as the overall homeless issue, the police have no responsibility for that. That has to be a better coordinated policy by the mayor. I know Eric Adams, the incoming mayor, has said he's going to address it, find the housing, find find places for it. But in the end, it's the cops who get stuck. They're the ones who there have to stop the crime. They're the ones who have to somehow try to remove these people from the trains. And, you know, they come across as the uh, bad guys and all this. But AOC, she talks about $11 million on robo-dogs. The fact is, the program she's talking about costs $94,000. The fact is, the police have already been defunded in, in New York, and they do an outstanding job. So she can't resist taking a shot at the cops. Bratton, Bill Bratton was raising the real social issue, which has become a crime issue. And it has to be addressed at a different level in the cops. It has to be addressed by the mayor and, and, and the, uh, the governor, for that matter, if they can work something out. Now, AOC also tweeted out another reply stating, quote, it's truly frustrating that Dems and GOP uh, alike water this down into something non-evidence-based electoral boogie monster. Nobody wants to live with these conditions, yet nobody wants to challenge the systems and decisions creating them. Don't complain if you want more of the same. Now, Bill, she's saying that you could reallocate some of this money for law enforcement to fix the homeless problem. We know that hate crimes have spiked against Asian Americans and Jewish Americans in the city. Uh, people are no longer feeling safe when they're walking the streets. Now, we know that there is a homeless crisis that needs to be solved, but is that the right approach to take away resources from the NYPD? Absolutely not. I'm going to say something else. I respect Commissioner Bratton. He had a poor choice of words during this holiday season. We shouldn't in any way be blaming these people. Many of them have underlying conditions and other issues of why they're there. They don't want to be on the subway. They want to be somewhere else. But a Congresswoman made a big mistake here in terms of her messaging, and Democrats need to get this out of their vocabulary. Defund the police is a stupid argument politically. And to the point we made earlier about substantive policy discussions, it's a dumb one from that standpoint, too. Defunding the police isn't going to solve anything. Democrats are smart here. They're going to use this as a rallying cry for a Build Back Better agenda. The, the, the New York City taxpayers can't foot the bill to solve this problem on their own, nor can D.C., nor can anyone around the country. This is an area where we should be investing federal resources to solve this problem, but not on the backs of cops. That is a stupid argument, and Democrats in 2022 need to stop saying those things. Yeah, Bill, I think defund the police oftentimes, it's a buzzword. It can be misunderstood. We equate it with taking money away from the police. You know, one of the things that I, I actually appreciated about the idea, one of the ideas, was about providing more funding 
to, again, take the yes. responsibility off of the police and have mental health professionals because a lot of these, you know, homeless people on the subway, they have, they're, they're battling mental health issues and you need it's the both. right people to, re to respond to that. Um, Peter King, I guess I'll put this one to you. You know, what do you think can be done to, again, take some of the heat off of the police force and maybe allocate some sort of other resources uh, to fixing the problem? Well, I don't think any money should be taken from the police because they are, I think, underfunded right in New York City right now. But there should be more funding, and it should be done, a coordinated program with the, uh, set up by the mayor in uh, coordination with the governor, have more mental health professionals, have find housing, find housing now that's being abandoned, and turn that into... Uh, a, a housing for people with mental illness. It's basically, you know, uh, so long as uh, Mike Bloomberg was the mayor, we did not have the seriousness of right. the mental health issue now. Right. And I think we have to also realize that we have to, again, and I'm not uh, an expert on uh, this aspect of the law, but find ways, in effect, to force people to take mental health uh, conditions, to you know, to get mental care, uh, mental That's health. That's so care. incredibly uh, important. Yeah. Unfortunately, Peter King, Bill Caruso, we have to leave it there. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel, now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.